the notes of the writer or may mga changes that you incorporate. Uh, this script, wala namang notes. Ah, wala namang. Uh, okay. It's not like Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Enter okay. and uh, uh, yeah. So it's very, very open to, mm -hmm. to interpretation. However, uh -huh. the movie kasi, they rewrote it to be specific to Jonathan Larson. Oh, okay. This play, the name, the character is just John. Oh. So it doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be Jonathan Larson. But of course, that's what people will now expect. Oh. So, thank you. We played along those lines. Yes. So, yeah. You mentioned kanina na uh, may influence yung film version sa. Gano yung influence na and ano yung mga changes niya from the 2016? Um. Our 2016 version, because it was a very bare stage. The, the play is very, very uh, text heavy, meaning all you really need to do is listen to the lines. And what happens, or what happens in his life, is actually dictated. You know, he says, She gives me a book and I open it. So you don't even have to have a book that he opens. But the, the movie, Kasenga, is more informative in terms of where things are taking place and um, how he was surprised during his birthday in the diner and all that. Um, this iteration, we have what we call a semi-realistic set, meaning there's a real apartment with stuff. There are books, there's a bed. Um, in, the, in our first product, in the 2016 version, it was a was a sofa that became a bed mm -hmm. um, and then there was a keyboard that was also the piano um, what else but other things were mine the phones were mine they would just talk to the audience here we have physical phones uh, and and we will have physical changes so it, it's it's a fuller production mm -hmm. simply because there's more to expect because of the movie that's major change. The set primarily is the biggest change. Although I did tell Neo that um, there should be segments where we still service the material the way it was written. Mm -hmm. So there's a portion in the in the show where things become stylized. So we use the table not just as a table but as something else. Mm -hmm. um, so now it's mixed. That's one of the things that uh, Rent brought to Broadway. The dining table, the mm -hmm. ginong, ginong door, di ba? Um, I think Jonathan Larson was wanted that kind of sparsity in mm -hmm. staging um, to make it also more affordable because he really wanted theater to be accessible for, for everyone. Um, so we're still doing that. We're still doing certain scenes where it's stylized and then there are certain scenes where everything is realistic. Um, na mention mo rin na the cast were handpicked. So, paano na pumasok sa picture si Khalil? And so far, paano yung performance? performance? Uh, Khalil was because we were talking to Jimmy. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Anna and myself, no, we were also checked. Kasi I would be dealing with uh, talents from like APS, CBN, and GMA. So, I'd be talking to like the, before the likes of Sina Mr. M, ganyan, and Sina Sina Basis of GMA. Or, so, um, we would already take a look and study them. Uh, and at the same time, I also had to ask Jim, hey, also, who do you think will be available? Who do you think will be a fit? No? Who can do a musical? So it's also a process. And then uh, uh, I think Anna was the one who 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 was the one the one uh, maybe this other guy probably would be would, would look mature enough. But uh, after um, after some discussion, we definitely were keen on Karil uh, already. So I already told uh, GMA or the, the uh, his management na uh, I, I want to talk to Karil. I wanna I wanna interview him and ask if he's interested to do a musical. It's his first musical. I, I didn't know, I, I, I don't know, or I didn't know at that time if alam niya what the role uh, entailed na kung gano'n ka dalir, gano'n ka hirap. No? <laughs> but uh, it, was, it 
was very accepting of it. Uh, the first time we met, diba? it was Holy Week. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, it was Holy but, Week. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't really accept right away. Oh, yeah, okay. As a matter of fact, the best part um, dealing with Khalil mm-hmm. was he wanted to make sure he could do the work. So he even asked Sandy if he could be assessed by mm-hmm. me and by our mm-hmm. by our, vo- our, our, vo- our, vo- our vocal coach friend of ours. So we met first time yeah. in, in our in uh, Lionel Week. Uh, and went, I don't know what they did inside the the, the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's very it's very important in theater na you're na hindi na wala yung bosses mo. If you can sustain it, yeah. there, there's a certain I guess place when I'm not a singer. <laughs> <laughs> no, Anna would know, uh, but uh, yeah, that na, that you don't lose your voice, especially mm-hmm. if you're singing. Although the role naman isn't that. Uh, mm-hmm. It is. It is. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 but yeah, so so it was a good thing that uh, uh, we, we had to assess it also. Kung kakayanin. Mm-hmm. That was primarily my, my concern. Because. Um, I am very much aware that uh, musical theater is uh, something that you actually train for. Mm-hmm. Um, these uh, actors have trained almost all their lives. And um, it's something that uh, I am inspired by, but also um, I, I am aware that I haven't had the proper training. I had training, but it was uh, for pop singing, mm-hmm. which is a... Uh, um, you know, not, slightly, too far. not too far, yeah. Uh, I, I have, uh, I, I guess, gained, at least, I, I don't have to worry about, like, you know, performing in front of an audience, because I've been doing that my, my whole career. I have been acting ever since uh, 2012. So those are things that I have carried over to this, produ- pro- to this production. But the, the one thing is the longevity and endurance of yeah. my, my voice, which is one thing that I needed to work on right away when I did accept the role because I was very much aware that I, I couldn't when I when I tried for the first time without their guidance at home, I lost my voice third, fourth song but out because I mm-hmm. found myself pushing my, my voice too much and my background because is I used to always sing rock and uh, rock music is more but uh, I mean when I was taught to to keep pushing buka ng buka ng buka power 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 which is something that you can't do here because by mm-hmm. by the time you're in your fifth sixth song wala na pause ka na you're done mm-hmm. and yeah. if you have to do a show tomorrow then you won't have <laughs> a, you know a voice to do it so yeah it was a it was a long uh, learning process which I'm very happy that I did because it's so valuable for Tanya and Reb from 2016 to now anin changes ng characters nyo and how do you like it more now? <laughs> <I'm> sorry! I'm <laughs> sorry! <laughs> no, I, I was never in the 2016 run. So this yeah, is Jeff and Jeff. Ah, Jeff. Also, okay. 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 Uh, We're all music. Ah. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, uh, Tanya has changed. <laughs> Just tell them how. Um, I, I actually have. Uh, I feel like. Because I'm playing. Michael and I are playing multiple characters. And there are moments when. I'm when I'm Susan. When I'm playing Susan, I feel like I'm not acting anymore. I think I've um, I've gained enough life experiences to be able to relate with her in that way, as opposed to before it was so put on. Because I ha- I there were some things I didn't quite understand yet, and I think it had a lot to do with number one the pandemic, number two getting married, and number three just generally getting older. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have a question for uh, Khalil. Uh, since uh, you've been in the industry for like uh, 12 years after you won the uh, talent uh, competition, no, Khalil, why it took you so long before you had a theatrical or a Uh it, It's because I, I, was, I was terrified. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's the short answer. I was really uh, terrified with, but I loved watching uh, musical it was something that I enjoyed with my family and I enjoyed that with Gabby as well but back then I remember because back in 2012 I was invited to audition for the run of Sound of Music 
as the, the one of the the Montran children. Twenty twelve. That's that's your story. That's your story. That's us. Yeah, yeah. I was texted to I was the youngest kid. <laughs> 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 oh my god, you could have been my little brother. I was texted to audition, but I was like, no, I can't audition. I can't do that because Chevrolet, we all know Sound of Music, it's super iconic. And I was so young and so naive. I was introverted before because so, so, so I really actually going into showbiz, I was you know overwhelmed by the largeness of the industry. I said, no, I can't do that, I'm, I'm gonna fail. So I, I put that aside, focused on, uh, on TV and film. Then I, I was, my first audition was actually for uh, Huling El Bimbo, which, uh, the, yes, the sec, was it the second, second round? The second round. Uh, I auditioned for AJ, but I also had to give that up because of scheduling conflicts. Mm. Yeah, that one. But yeah, um, I also wonder and ask the same thing, uh, why did it take me so long? jump and finally do this. Um, maybe a lot of it comes um, from uh, maturity then. Uh, I guess I didn't have, you know, the, the confidence in my, my skill set at that time. Um, I was still trying to find, you know, my place in the industry. I didn't know what to actually do. I, I ventured to uh, photography, writing, filmmaking. I was, well, at one point I was doing everything and anything. Um, but then when I actually, you know, you know, um, I was sure now of what I wanted to do was to act for the rest of my life. Then uh, I kind of got, you know, I, I kind of uh, felt now that I think when I when I was when when I'm offered uh, a musical play or a theater project, I think I would consider it. Uh, so now that I'm trying to possible that's not so Hopefully, yeah. Um, this is by far, in terms of prep, the most satisfying and the most, um, I guess, creative experience as an actor for me. Because uh, I don't get this privilege in, in TV and film, where we're usually given the script in just a few, uh, a few, a month or sometimes hours, few hours. <laughs> few minutes. sometimes few minutes. while doing it, it changes. So it's it's not as you know, as um, as pre thought of as uh, as theater. So this has been such you know, uh, a very talaga it changed my whole perspective on uh, on the process as well. So yeah. for those who are not and now that I'm trying to share with you now, what is the fun and challenging part being a like a theater artist and for others also? Yeah, I think uh, for me the the biggest. I think uh, speaking from uh, someone you know, from TV and film, um, you sometimes when when you do TV and film, kasi, um, you're in the zone just during your take, like during that that scene. Uh, at least at least for me, when I feel it, you know, as as actors and as musicians. You know when when a you know when a guitarist goes in a guitar solo, para siyang lilipad, di ba? So that that feeling is something that's addicting for me. It's something that I, I strive for in everything that I do. I need to feel. I need to be able to grab hold of that character so much that it takes over my entire body. And I feel that during uh, TV and film. Um, pero mabibitin ka kasi you you have to budget your scenes. You do scenes based on location. Here I feel it almost every day. So that's something that's, um, I guess, uh, to, to actors who uh, are very much committed and are in it talaga for that commitment, who really want to feel, um, you know, um, the, the character and the material. It's, it's something else. It's, it's something to, you know, to actually try at least once in your life, you're an actor. Uh, we have 